Yep. Hey guys, Adam the Historian Ghost Hunter here, here with some friends of mine. We got Agent Cates, hey. we got Kim, which is Kim and Needy. And uh, Nick Cates brought us to this place in Waterville where he grew up. Winslow's on the other side. This is the Penny Bridge. His great uh, grandmother actually used, sorry. His great grandmother actually used to collect uh, tolls here. As you can see, it's one cent. And we just walked across. It's kind of a sway bridge, not really, a lot of iron to it. It was built in 1903. As you can see, it's got a lot of staples to it, different stuff. And yeah, Nick's uh, Nick's got some relatives here, Mr. Cates. <laughs> right, I do, yeah. Well, let's name drop your team that you're on real quick while we're on Facebook, uh, YouTube. Yeah, yep. 207 Paranormal. 207 Paranormal. Check him out right here in Maine. One of the few people I'll work with in Maine. Uh, he's really, I can vouch for, it, for for Nick. If you guys saw a video that I've uploaded last month, as well as the Randolph Trail, that's where Nick took us. Um, so let's go on the bridge real quick. I kind of enjoyed some time just doing my own thing, so now I want to go back and, as you can tell, it's very, very old school. Here's the iron. It flows right across the, the, uh, the water here. I believe it's the Kennebec River, right through Winslow. I'm gonna try to hurry up, they're all in the car. I should have recorded this earlier. <laughs> you can see it goes up there. Of course, there's a camera keeping an eye on us. And there, it's the Taconic Footbridge Company. William T. Haynes, Harvey Eaton, incorporated in 1903. Edward Dwight Graves, the engineer from Harvard, Connecticut, helped it, as well as the Berlin Construction Company, the builders from Berlin, Connecticut. So this is where my friend Nick Cates, uh, great, great grandmother used to collect a penny. It was a penny to cross from town to town for people going to work in the mills. If they worked in this mill here, they'd have to go that way, and of course, vice versa this way. So there's a lot of locks here now. It flows across the river. You can see this beautiful railroad on that side, our regular car bridge actually, which is cool. <clears throat> and then that side too. Some duckies in the water there. And of course, there's the hut. So it's very neat, very well done. Look at this, very cool. Um, I'm sure it's a lot of it's redone, but you can see there's the inside where that wish you'd stay and uh, collect a penny a day to cross, penny a toll. You come back the other way, you gotta pay another penny. There's the upside there. So, a really cool bridge, about 12 degrees here in Maine. Uh, Nick invited us over and Kim to have some supper with them tonight. We don't get invited out much, so that's pretty neat. So this is a quick history of it. Cast iron's real thick here, you can tell. I'm sure the flooring's been redone. I'm sure this used to be originally wood probably, but this metal is original from 1903, you can tell. I mean, this is real fabricated coated steel, so it's the real stuff, and it's why it's stood the test of time. Has been rebuilt twice, but I, I got a feeling that was, I haven't done a lot of research. I got a feeling that was the wooden part. Maybe the metal too, but that to me seems like it's been here a while, but there was a placard here too, looks like. And it looks like it's wiped clean. I didn't notice that. There's nothing on it. So that's too bad. Um, so do some research if you want, guys. Check it out. Just another rare find. I came down. Nichols, you hear about the Penny Bridge? I go, time to go. <laughs> so there's another one there. Nick knows this shit. He's very quiet, very humble. Um, but I tell you what, if you want some stuff in Maine, um, I don't really do residential cases or a lot of cases. So you want to reach out to 207 Paranormal. Uh, 207, that's the area code for Maine. And that uh, is right here in, in Upper Maine, and they can help you out if you need it. And they're always open to other events and different stuff, so make sure you support them. Tell them Adam the Historian Ghost Hunter sent you, and I appreciate, sucks people break things. Appreciate you guys watching, subscribing, all the new guys and girls and everything. So, Historically Haunted Vodcast, check it out. Nick's been on it a couple times, you saved my ass. He's one of the real ones in the field. Always. Always, I love this cat. <laughs> Back when we had a couple of drinks and walked around the cemetery for two hours, like four years ago, I've, I've been in love with him. But he's taken now, so that's, I can't know. We are actually going to check out the cemetery before your uh, adventure is done. <laughs> oh, he's always got surprises. I tell you, man, it's fun to talk to people and say we like each other, but Kim and Nick reach out. They, they actually, like, message me to hang out as friends. Facebook's great, but when real people want to hang out, those are the ones you keep close. So thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, we'll see you then. Say bye, Nick. Bye. <laughs>